Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Wanted to share a quick thought with you. As, let's back up a little bit. Let's go back into June. All this is very important. And this whole video is my opinion and should not be used for financial advice. As we got into June, okay, the two, the two key things that we were seeing factually within Iraq's news in June, okay, that was when they really started putting a focus and emphasis on the reconstruction. And then towards the end of June, that's when they started continuing the formation of the government. What does that tell us? That tells us that they were done setting the stage and ready to push forward with the uh, rate change because now they were done setting the stage. So now they're ready to change the rate. Okay. Let's put a focus on reconstruction. I want to stress this to you guys. Okay. I've shown you guys the article where Siemens has already come out announcing that they're going to start marketing and promoting the reconstruction starting on July 10th. The whole thing with reconstruction guys is they have to line up contractors and they have to have funds available. That has to be scheduled, hard scheduled. It can't, that can't be a fluid event. Okay. It has to be hard scheduled and cannot change, especially something massive such as rebuilding your country's infrastructure that's huge that that is such a massive event and undertaking it cannot be rescheduled and the funds have to be aligned with the scheduling of the reconstruction now with that said i want to stress one more thing to you um since the beginning of the year i told you the dow will reach twenty-seven thousand points at the same time at like twenty-seven thousand points on the friday right before they're preparing to change the rate of that weekend okay well let's look one weekend ahead of us now you know the weekend of june 13th june 14th okay you've already seen the dow futures not the regular dow the dow futures reached twenty-seven thousand points back on july 4th okay that's going to suggest again this is my opinion that would suggest the dow will probably reach twenty-seven thousand points this friday Okay, and the last round of news pertaining to a, to the formation of the government, they said they're going they're going to try or they might try to complete the formation of the government this coming Saturday, July thirteenth. Guys, this is the details I've been bringing to you since the beginning of the year. I've always said these events will happen in very close proximity to each other. This isn't coincidence. Notice how back on roughly July 4th, they trimmed the auctions down and reduced them to one day per week. Again, this isn't coincident. These are hard facts playing out right before you, strongly revealing completion to you. You guys have a wonderful day. Iraq signs an agreement with the World Bank to promote electricity in four provinces July 7, 2019 5 hours, 43 minutes, and 14 seconds. Iraq signed with the World Bank a loan agreement worth $200 million to develop the electricity sector in the southern provinces of the country. The Deputy Prime Minister for Economic Affairs and Minister of Finance Fouad Hussein signed a memorandum of understanding with the bank's representative in charge of the government's program to strengthen the relationship between Iraq and society and benefit from the expertise of international organizations. The International Conference on Iraq Yara Salem, on Sunday, a project agreement aimed at developing and strengthening electrical systems in the southern provinces. This project will contribute to the increase in electricity supply and regularity. In addition to the reconstruction and rehabilitation of the network of transmission lines and distribution and the installation of new transmission lines and substations and information systems that enhance the capacity of the network to deliver electricity to citizens, pointing out that this project will serve 5.2 million citizens in the provinces of Basra, Muthana, Dikar and Maisan. Iraq relies on Iranian gas to feed several power plants, and imports about 1.5 billion standard cubic feet per day via pipeline in the south and east. Washington seeks to curb Iranian influence in the Middle East, including Iraq, where Tehran enjoys good relations at all levels. Although Iraq has one of the largest reserves of natural gas in the world, it is slowly moving towards extraction and depends on the supply of gas and electricity from Iran.